there's something about coding live in front of other people watching over my shoulders that just makes my brain totally freeze like and you know they haven't e they're not even really hard algorithms in fact they're actually pretty simple um, and as I'm looking at it I know that it's simple and I know I can do it but my brain does not work and I feel like a deer in the headlights you know um, if you think about deer, deer in the headlights I mean that reaction of seeing the headlights and freezing is exactly what kills it you know the reaction of going faster would actually save it um, so and that's what I think kills it for me in these interviews uh, is the deer in the headlights reaction even to simple algorithms so one thing I could do is practice and just practicing on my own going through code wars or something like that isn't the same because nobody's watching me uh, and I can take it or leave it I'm just me doing my own thing just like when I'm building my projects you know uh, much much different situation so I thought if I tried doing it in front of people, uh, it would give me more practice. So here I go. <laughs> Here's Code Wars, ta-da. Um, and I'll start with the easy one. I'll just do the easy ones, because like I said, all the ones I've gotten have been pretty easy. Um, I'm applying to junior level positions after all, so let's see, these are all eight, these are all the beginners ones. So, oh, I suppose I could do, I did that one, total amount of points, plus, plus, plus. Um, you know what, I'll just do the first one. Let's see what it is. Picking and choosing isn't the best because I won't be able to pick and choose at an interview. Okay, take the derivative. Uh, usually if it's too long, I just skip it because uh, it takes time just to read through it, but this doesn't look too long. Um, this function takes two numbers as parameters. First number being the coefficient and the second being the exponent. Okay, so this is a mathematical one versus like I'm much stronger with like arrays and strings, objects, that kind of thing. Uh, math stuff I usually have to look up, uh, but that's okay. Um, two numbers as parameters, uh, coefficient, see that's that's the thing, I have to look up what coefficient means. Uh, I know what an exponent means. Coefficient is familiar, but I went through three semesters of calculus in college, so I've done a lot of math, but that doesn't mean that I remember anything. Your function should multiply the two numbers, okay? Oh, the exponent, okay. And then subtract one from the exponent. Then it has to print out an expression, like 28 times to the seventh should not be truncated when exponent equals two. For example, der derive, ah, oh, I used to know what coefficient was, what is that? Okay. Derive seven eight. Okay, so derive is the name of the function here, and and here's the two uh, per, the two parameters. Um, is the coefficient the coefficient must be the number that's below the exponent, because um, that's what they're saying right here. In this case, the function should multiply seven and eight. Oh, and then subtract one from eight. And it should output this. Oh, okay. It's the product of the two numbers, and the second is the exponent minus one. Oh, that's actually simple. You don't even have to calculate this. You just um, multiply multiply the two numbers, uh, and then whatever this symbol is. I mean, I'll just put it in there, of course. Um, and the second, the exponent minus one. Okay, actually this is pretty simple. It should be a string. Exponent will never be one, and neither number will ever be zero. That's very important. Okay, so I thought this was gonna be complicated math, but it is actually just working with strings. Well, I mean, I'm gonna multiply and I'm gonna subtract, but that's not like extreme. Uh, otherwise, working with strings. So let's do it. Train. 
So I'm going to get two numbers. I've already read all this. Result fully shown here. That's good. Okay, so the first so the first number times the second number is going to be the first part here. And then I'm going to have this and then I'm going to have so I'm going to end up with two variables here um, to output this one and this one. So I'm going to just initiate those variables here. Let uh, multiple, sure, I'll just initiate that. And then let uh, uh, multiple and let um, power, because <laughs> it's to the power of, right? Um, so multiple and power, sounds good to me. Um, I've heard that naming things is one of the hardest things in uh, programming, and it's something to be learned. Right, multiple and power. <clears throat> See, this is already a lot more fun than coding at an interview because, I don't know, there's less pressure. I can laugh about it. I'm actually having fun right now. This is good. <clears throat> uh, multiple and power. So I'm going to have those two numbers, and multiple is basically going to be... Um, well, multiple is going to equal um, coe. <laughs> How do you spell that word? <laughs> coffee efficient. <laughs> I'm when I have coffee in the morning, then I am coffee efficient. Um, coe efficient. There, that is a hard word to spell. Um, times exponent. Oh, this is really simple. Okay, and then power equals exponent minus one, right? Okay, this is really simple, but that's okay. It's supposed to be simple. Because just subtract one from the exponent, right? Okay, so good. I've got my two variables. Now I just need to output a string. And I'm just going to console log. I do need to console log, right? Output. Um, no, it doesn't say to console log, so maybe I'll just do a return, um, and it's going to be, it's going to be a string. Oh, so I'm going to use back ticks. Sorry, back ticks, and then say the first is multiple. This and this carrot x and carrot, and then um. Power. Is that all? That should be it, right? Let's do a test and see what happens. I passed. Everything's fine. Okay. So attempt. And everything passed. Yay! Submit. Hello, submit. Ta da! <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. 